Cross your path somewhere. God has drawn the line. And he always warns you. You better show up. You better stop. Better turn around. When you rebel and harden your heart and strip on your neck and refuse, God say, go on. Go on. Go on! But said, God told me to go on. Yeah, in the day of Moses, he gave them a writing of divorcement and told them to marry again. But Jesus explained to you, said, only from the hardness of your own hearts. And it shall come to pass. Deuteronomy 28, 63. That is the law of thy God rejoiceth over thee to do thee good and to bless thee and to multiply thee. Even so shall the Lord thy God rejoice over thee to destroy thee and cut you down to nothing. Either we're going to let God bless us and multiply us and save us. And God's going to rejoice because we kneel, we pray, we repent, we turn from our sins and our wicked ways. Or either God's going to rejoice over you to destroy you and cut you down to naught. In the next hour, we will take you with us into another world. Into the world of music, spirit, and meditation. Turn off the light, take a deep breath, and relax. I speak unto thee this day, and I say, when you see a man or a woman who insist and persist in their own way, no, they bring forth nothing but the wind. But I say, when you see the ones who desire my way, I say, they bring forth life in me. For I say, it is me that have been God who has intended that my own people would be abiding in me, would bear much fruit in me. And I say that I've intended that my people would know what it is to be repentant and continue in the same. For I say you are living in times when men have hardened their hearts against me. They've taken up religion rather than right standing in me. And I say they prefer a show of religion above the truth. And I say all the while they elevate themselves in their own estimation. But I say they are nothing but fools. For I say they have pursued the course of their own way, their own understanding. And I say they will end in a ditch. Now I say, when I live in God to give the call to all men, all men to repent, that is exactly what they are meant to do. That is, they are meant to turn from the wickedness of their own understanding and walk uprightly in me. And I say, when a man insists that he must still have his way, when he has come in to me, I say that he's not found abiding in me. But I say that he's serving the God of self and the same will bring him nothing in the end. I say this day that I the living God do not call you to seek to please yourselves, but I say that I call you to die out unto the same. And I say that I call you to seek to please me, to obey me, and be brought forth in me day by day. For I say if it is me that you will be looking unto, believing and trusting, then I say you are guided by me. But I say if you are going in the way of your own understanding, you are found bound in the way of a fool. I say this day that I the living God do not call you to the way of a fool, but I say that I call you to the way of my righteousness revealed. And I say that I call you to be coming forth ever uplifted, directed, and guided by me. And I say that I call you to be thankful that it is me you can look to, believe in, and trust, for I am well able to guide you forth. And it is me, the living God, who directs and corrects the ones who will humble themselves in repentance before me day by day. But I say that the ones who are trusting in self are trusting in the liar, they are trusting in the deceit of the saint. For I say, when you trust in self, you are trusting in the inward beast. And I say, when you trust in self, you are trusting in the fool that will cause you to lose your soul. Therefore, I say, it is foolishness to trust in the understanding of self, for the same is darkened and cannot perceive my way. But I say that I, the living God, do offer to my people the opportunity to be led, to be guided, to be directed by the mind of my spirit that they could come forth in me. That is, that they could be uplifted and strengthened, directed and guided day by day. For I say it is a privilege to believe upon me, to trust me and obey me and be brought forth by me. And I say it is a privilege to be walking in the truth, the light, the strength that I offer to my own. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never intended 
that men would be found found in sin and yet they are and I say it is because they fail to repent they fail to humble themselves and cry out unto me but I say when a people will perceive and receive my message of repentance then I say they are able to be guided each day by me and I say it is because they have humbled themselves continue to humble themselves to be ruled by me now I say this day that I don't have God am at this time calling throughout the earth for all men to repent and return to me that means likewise the ones who put on their shows of religion and think they are fine in the same now I say if you consider when I came to earth and I as I walked among men what did I find I say that I found men who were greedy for gain I found men who were in love with themselves I found men who put on a fair show of religion while their hearts were hard and far from me and I say that all of the ones that I found were headed to damnation of soul that is why I called and I called and I called them to repent but I say because of the hardness the wickedness the deceit the cunning craftiness and the desire for gain that ruled over them I say the multitude did not repent but I say they went on to the course of their own destruction now I say this day consider how liable men are when they hear my call to repentance yet they refuse the same that is when they will insist and persist that they have their own way when their way is the way of destruction I say this day that I don't have been God do not call men to go in their own way but I say that I call them to come forth in the truth and I say that I call them to be uplifted guided and directed in the light the strength the mercy of who I am for I say when men will believe upon me and trust me then I say they are able to be guided by me but I say when men are looking to their own understanding they are going in the way of fools I say this day that I the living God do not call you to go in the way of fools but I say that I call you to come forth in the truth the light the mercy that I provide and I say that I call you to be thankful that you can indeed be uplifted guided and directed by me for I say it is through me that you are given the truth the light the strength and the hope day by day and it is through me that you are brought forth for I will bring you forth now I say this day be thankful that you are given the privilege to believe upon me to trust me and obey me each and every day and I say be thankful that in me you are directed in that which I intend which is the truth and the light always for I say it is a good thing to keep on trusting believing and looking unto me as the author and the finisher the beginning and the end and I say it is a good thing to be a partaker of all that I provide now I say this day let it be me that you continue to look to day by day and I say accept the leading of my spirit in your life for I say it is my spirit that will lead you forth it is my spirit that will uplift and guide you in the way that I give to my own and it is my spirit that will direct and correct you and give you the truth always for I say it is me the living God who is the way that is righteousness truth and life and mercy intended and it is me the living God who will give to you all that you have need of to be ever kept in me therefore I say this day be thankful for the privilege to believe me to receive of me and be brought forth in me day by day and I say be thankful that through me you are given the truth and the light the strength the hope and the mercy of who I am I say be thankful that through me you are given the light that I the living God do intend you to walk by that you can indeed be children of the light for I say you do not find a false light and think the same is pleasing me I say there are multitudes in this wicked generation they have gone after false lights all to their own despair for I say while they think they find something I say they will find nothing except the way of destitution of soul for I say when a man will pursue the course of his own understanding seeking for false lights I say that he's seeking destruction but I say when a man will truly repent humble himself cry out unto me then I say that he's brought forth in me now I say this day that I the living God never called my people to think they were sufficient in themselves and yet I say there are multitudes who claim they are mine who do just that but I say it is not me that they love but I say they are loving the God of self and I say they are serving the same and bowing themselves to the desires the whims the lust of self rather than ugling themselves unto me and I say in so doing they are taken away from the truth the light the strength that I give to my own now I say this day when I the living God do give the call to all to all to all men to repent I say they are meant to obey that call and yes they are meant to be humbling themselves coming forth in the truth the light the blessedness that I provide and I say they are meant to be found ever abiding in the strength that I the living God do give to my own 
For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness, truth, and life, and mercy intended. Now I say, therefore, this day, be glad for the privilege to look unto me, to believe me, and trust me each and every day. And I say, be thankful that through me you are guided forth in that which I ordain. For I say, if you will be accepting and not rejecting of what it is that I give you, I say that you are given the newness of life of who I am. And I say that you are brought forth in that which I, the living God, do intend for thee. Therefore, I say this day, be thankful, be thankful, be thankful, to walk uprightly, to be guided forth, to be directed in the truth, the light, the strength, and the mercy that I do bring. For I say it is me, the living God, who brings forth the people who are ever humbling themselves before me. Now I say, when you look at the lost state of humanity, I say you are not meant to give up in despair. But I say you are meant to keep looking unto me as the one true God who is able to move far beyond the condition of men. For I say it is me, the living God, who is able to bring forth those who have never even heard of me. And I say that I'm able to purpose them in the way of my righteousness revealed as they will humble themselves and obey me. Therefore, I say, do not look at the thing that calls itself my church and think because of the hopeless state that they are in that there will be none redeemed. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is well able to move beyond the realms of religion whereby men have settled in the grave. And it is me, the living God, who is able to bring forth the righteous remnant from any and all that I call who will obey. That is, who will obey the call to deep and true repentance unto me. Therefore, I say this day, do not be discouraged, but be encouraged, for it is me, the living God, who is able, and it is me, the living God, who is reaching out, who is bringing souls unto the way that I intend. And I say that I'm bringing men and women who are outside of the so-called church unto the altar of repentance, and I say they are crying unto me, and I say they are searching their hearts and seeing their utter need to walk uprightly in me. Now I say this day, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who has given unto you the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy, and the hope that I provide. And it is me, the living God, who has given unto you the light always, for I am well able. Now I say this day, if you walk circumspectly each day in me, then you are guided by me. And yes, you are given the strength to continue, for it is me, the living God, ever present, to give to you the same. Therefore, I say this day, be faithful, be true, be steady in what it is that I, the living God, do ordain for thee. And I say, be coming forth, uplifted in that which I give you, which is the truth and the light our ways. And I say, be ever thankful to pursue the course of my righteousness revealed. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is giving unto you the way wherein you can be kept and guided each day by me. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do offer to you the truth, the light, the strength, and the hope, I say, walk in the same. And I say, be made glad that you can be walking in the way of my righteousness, my truth, and my mercy revealed. And I say, be thankful that for me you are directed and guided, instructed, and purposed day by day. For I say that I do not cease to guide the ones who will be cleaving unto me. Now I say, consider when you follow me that I, the living God, will go before you, that I, the living God, will be with you, and I, the living God, will lift you up. That is, as you keep your faith, your trust, your confidence in me. I say this day, do not allow the wicked one to pull you down. Do not allow the spirits of despair to settle in on you. But I say, instead, be keeping yourself in the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy that I give day by day. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness, the way that is truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who will prove to be well able to bring you forth as you continue trusting, believing, and looking to me. For I say you are not meant to be governed by the circumstances that pass away, but I say you are meant to be governed by the mind of my spirit, which is eternal, and will lead you in my way. And I say if you thank me and praise me in every circumstance and situation, then I say that your eyes are open to behold my mercies unto thee. And I say that you will be able to thank me and praise me each and every day, for I am the one who guides you forth. Now I say this day, be glad to continue, be glad to believe, be glad to receive of me. And I say, be thankful that through me you are given the truth, the light, the strength, and the hope day by day. I say, be thankful that through me you are directed, corrected, and shown that it is me, the living God alone of all the gods who is able. And I say that I will give unto the ones who serve me the way wherein they are kept, the way of eternal life. I say this day, do not be led astray, but be led in my way by the mind of my spirit, the mind of humility, the way that is eternal, the repentant way. When God starts cutting, you cut it.
mighty easy. Cause you're so soft. You crush. Mighty easy. You don't think so heavy head on the ocean. And you don't struggle but a few times for breath. When your breath being in God's hands according to Daniel. God closes his hand up. Said in whose hand is thy breath. All God does is close up his hand. And when God closes his hand, your breath in there. <laughs>